Hello Bible aficionados, this is Derek with uh, not a Bible review today, but a little talk on some Bibles that you might come across at an estate sale or maybe a library sale or a thrift shop or uh, some you may even find for a good price on eBay. But I wanted to show you a few of the Bibles that I've found so far and what you might want to look for uh, some of the vintage publishers. So I have four Bibles here that I'm going to talk about today and the first one is one that I found very recently. Um, the condition on this one is um, a little bit less uh, than what I'd probably like. Um, but um, just the cover. Don't judge a book by a co its cover, they say. And um, this so happens that it is an Oxford Brevere blackface. And this is, uh, was particular edition was printed in 1945. And as you can see, of course, the cover um, is has seen better days and has been stamped with a name um, but if you look at the text block wow I mean perfect condition pretty much um, there is a slight yellowing on the pages I don't believe this particular edition was done in India paper um, but a very clean text um, beautiful art gilt edging um, from the 40s period almost in intact condition and so I think this would make a fine candidate for a rebind and this only cost a couple of dollars um, so you may find at a sale uh, there's a Bible with a cover that may not be quite so attractive but the insides of the Bible are in very good condition like this Brevier blackface and they'd make for a nice rebind. Um, and Oxford Bibles, um, as we know, has been around for many years, and so frequently uh, Bibles certainly of this vintage in the 1940s appear, as well as older Oxford editions, uh, for pretty reasonable prices. And I think they're a very nice um, Bible, considering a new Brevere Blackface from R.L. Allen today uh, it costs something like $150, and so for $2, I don't think I did too bad. Here's another um, little Bible. Um, leather cover, and again, the cover is a little bit worn. But if we look at this particular cover, this comes from, I'm sorry if I can't get the camera to focus too well here, but this is from the American Bible Society, 1895. This was found at a flea market. And again, I don't think this was printed on India paper, but um, a very clean copy. Uh, it's an agate text, um, almost a full yap and uh, red page edges but this was just a few dollars at a flea market so you can find um, Bibles uh, printed even back in the 1800s uh, for just a few dollars and I think uh, for me this was a nice addition uh, to my collection and here's another Bible that tends to come up at these types of sales um, by World Bible Publishers and I found this at a library sale and again it was $2. Um, this has a genuine leather cover with a paste down liner. It's a King James Version. A lot of the Bibles that you'll find vintage um, will obviously be of the King James Version. Um, and you may, if you're lucky find an American Standard Version or Revised Standard Version but the King James Bible was pretty much the standard bearer um, through the early 1900s and beyond so most of the Bibles you're going to find vintage are going to be in the King James Version 
beautiful art gilt edges and this copy looks like it's really never been used I mean the paper is still white um, the famous uh, World Bible Publishers India paper um, very nice paper illustrations and for just a couple of dollars I think this was pretty good buy now some of us don't venture out to um, garage sales or thrift sales and we might shop on eBay um, and even on eBay we can find some interesting um, Bibles such as this revised standard version by Thomas Nelson so that's another publisher that you may find um, and this is an imitation leather cover but I found this one and I particularly like it because it's pretty much in mint condition um, feels like it's almost never been opened uh, the paper's still white the red page edges are intact there is a name inscribed um, but it looks like the owner of this Bible never really used the Bible so this is a nice copy of the Revised Standard Version. So just to review we have Thomas Nelson Publishers, we have World Bible Publishers, we have the American Bible Society, and we have Oxford and of course there are other publishers that you might find such as uh, National or Cambridge uh, among others and so um, for just aside from this uh, Nelson these three Bibles cost me under ten dollars and I think <clears throat> they're pretty nice examples of um, historical vintage Bibles um, and so you can you too can collect Bibles uh, without spending a whole lot of money and find some interesting finds so um, happy hunting and may God bless you